Hi everybody, thanks for joining us on this live stream. Let me turn this music off for a minute. We've got a, a live stream going. It's the uh, PlayStation 5 Showcase. We think... And joining me is Ken. Hi, Ken. Uh, hey. Uh, we think we're going to get a price and a release date. Um, you know, they've been very vague about it. I don't know why they're being so vague. Um, they, the contents of the boxes leaked previously, and it is confirmed that the digital version and the disc-based version are exactly the same. Same SSD, same RAM, so it is not like the Xbox Series X where it's half a machine or half a next-gen step up. So I don't expect them to drop the price. I expect them, yes, I, I think there will be a price differential, but I don't think it's going to come in at 300 bucks, unless they decide to just, like, eat every single... No, I think they're going to keep the price up. Oh, yeah, I think so. They're definitely going to keep the price up because um, I've seen, I seen this video yesterday, so I wanted to back it up. On IGN, uh, PS5 stock to be limited in, in their first fiscal year. Um, they also reported that in it a Bloomberg report cites people familiar with the matter claiming that Sony is set to produce fewer PlayStation 5 units in the console's first year than it did for PS4's launch in 2013. According to Bloomberg sources, Sony will make 5 to 6 million units of the PlayStation 5 in the fiscal year ending March 2021. For some perspective on that figure, the PlayStation 4 sold over 7 million units in around 5 months. The reasoning for that apparently comes down to more to the effect of a higher price tag well, the report yeah. notes that Sony anticipates the console price tag to come in at around four ninety nine to five hundred and forty nine dollars. Well, I think I think what they'll do is they'll probably have the PS five with the disc drive be five hundred, and I think the the other one will most likely come in at four hundred. We'll yeah, see. I'd be happy to spend five hundred on a discless one. I mean, no four hundred. I don't hardly. I, I don't think it's going to be five hundred. Yeah. I think five. five well, no, four ninety nine. I think the disc based one will be four ninety nine. Is my point. Really? Yeah, I don't. Wouldn't them... it be higher than the first no. because there's more hardware no. and everything? I don't think. I don't think they're going to do that. I think they're going to launch at five hundred because then that puts them in price parity with the Xbox uh, Series X. Well, we'll see if they bring out the price for both because. I don't know, the way everything is, I mean, I understand, like, you know, there's been that concept before, that, like, oh, if you buy your games digitally, you don't own them. We still own them. So there's the question going around, you know, that's in the gaming community. There's, it's split. People like digital, people like both, some people only like disc. I have gone both ways. I do get yeah, a yeah. disc. <laughs> not, not, <laughs> not that way. Not that way. Uh, I, I am solely faithful <laughs> with a little bit of side tag of the Switch. Okay, I don't, I don't talk, touch the Xbox. Okay, so if I go two ways, it is Switch and Sony. So uh, no, I do digital and I do disc. 
but I tend mostly to go towards the disc with collector's items. Like God of War, uh, what was that? Um, 1849, that, uh, like, thriller one. Um, you know what I'm talking about, the one that didn't do very well. But yeah, I've only got, like, a couple of discs. Everything else I do digital because sometimes, to me, it's just easier. And sometimes not everything has a collector's, and sometimes the digital offers a lot more better stuff. Like it might come with like with a soundtrack or something. Well, at the same time, let's talk about what we know. think we might be seeing today. I do expect to get a glimpse. God of, of War the... Two. Okay, that's definitely. I'm calling it. Yeah. Because I, I was trying to bring it up on Google again. They said that. I guess was one of the production staff or the person behind it has been sending out cryptic, mysterious tweets. It's actually the game. And I looked at one Corey, of the, Corey Ball or other. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you've seen it. Yeah, thank you. I was trying to find it again. And one of the pictures looks like Kratos on a horse. Did you, say, I was did like, you say Kratos? Are you one of those yeah, people who say are you are you one of those people who say Mario too? <laughs> Kratos, Kratos. <laughs> um, but no, um, I think we'll we'll probably see some new games because that was not something. I mean, we got some a bunch on the last time. If they give us more games, that's only going to look even better for them. But I also think we'll see um, some snippets of the actual user interface, and I also think we'll see yeah. Final Fantasy 16 announced. I think we'll see Final Fantasy 16. You'll see what? Final Fantasy 16 announced. What about Final Fantasy Remake Part 2? I think it's too easy, too early for that. I think 16 is probably going to be that. That's that's my big guess of this one. Oh my God. Um, we could also see uh, something on The Last of Us 2 multiplayer. Because that's going to be a separate game from The Last of Us. So that would be nice to see. Um, I think we'll probably see more of Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, Spider-Man. Favorite Miles Miles. Morales. Yeah, probably some of that. Maybe even Battlefield 6. Yeah, maybe. Uh, maybe some more stuff on Godfall. Godfall, from what I've been watching... Uh, being trying to find stuff on YouTube and everything. And the latest gameplay that I've seen, I think it was from Dantix or somebody like that that I follow. It looks more like it's te- like it's reminds me of Warframe. It does. It does. And I'd be cool. I'd be totally okay with that. I just I I don't see the price point being six hundred bucks. I can't. Yeah. I can't see that. Would you pay it though? Oh, sure. Honestly, sure. I but you're well, talking to the wrong person. I bought two PlayStation threes when they came out, so I paid twelve hundred, yeah, you know, twelve hundred bucks for them at that point. So yes, I would. Would there be a price that you would not pay? No. So that's how hyped you are. That could be like PlayStation Five, two thousand dollars. Oh, okay. You'd be like, no problem. No, no, I no. Obviously, I don't have that much money. But <laughs> so I'm, um, I'm just trying to gauge like how hyped you are for the PlayStation Five. I mean, the highest. So I if there were to be like, okay, eight hundred dollars for the disc based, seven fifty for the digital, would you pay? It? I would probably pay it, but I would tell them they were nuts online and and spout that everywhere because they they okay. they did this. Once and already should have learned from it. Six hundred bucks yes. is too much for a console, and I think five hundred. Yeah, especially is a... with Xbox. Yeah, you know, showing theirs like here. This is how much we could get out of our consumers. So Sony, step up to the plate now. It's kind of like calling them out. Well, I, I'll be honest. the The idea of a Xbox. Um, you know, granted, it's the S for this price point that I'm going to quote, but you get the Xbox yes. Series S and access to the um, the monthly games library 
for two years for uh, 25 bucks a month. That's a powerful selling proposition. So, yeah. you know, I think <clears throat> Sony has taken its time to look at what its options are for pricing. And I think that, you know, having the the... Having a true next gen system in the discless drive, clock in at four hundred bucks, and then match the price of the Xbox Series X for the disc based drive at four ninety nine, so three ninety nine, four ninety nine yeah. respectively. You're paying a hundred bucks, and you're getting a whole lot more. You're getting true four K. You're getting uh, a bigger SSD that you can also add on to and upgrade without the extra cost. There's a lot of talking points for them. For, for for saying that this is true next gen for a hundred dollars more yeah. than the series s so I think that's the route that they'll go because I don't think they're gonna try and drop the discless drive to match the 299 that just doesn't make business sense yeah. for me but right we'll yeah I'm not expecting them to drop it that much um, one selling point that they would really grab me because I do like some nostalgic games is if they were to say that it is capable of backwards compatibility, and if they were to say that, fine line it. Say backwards compatibility up to PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2, <laughs> or original PS1. You, you know, know, give us a fine line. Just at, don't be like, oh, yeah, capable of it. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. For backwards compatibility, not so much, but I do kind of like it when consoles are like that. Like, Nintendo is good for that. Like, Nintendo has their are nostalgic... Are you kidding me? Nintendo makes you rebuy it for every system. How many copies of Super yeah. Mario do I own? The answer is, like, at least ten. Yeah. So that's not, bad. no, what I'm saying that's is not like backwards Nintendo compatibility. That's always just, has it. Yeah, I'm not saying that they, you know... If you look at it, we have PlayStation 1 and 2 titles on PS4 now, a few of them, yes. that were ported. Or well, I would like to see more, though, because yeah. we don't hardly ever get updates for PS1 and PS2 titles. I think the last one I grabbed was, um, I gotta look at my poster, what is that? Rogue Galaxy was the last PlayStation 1 I grabbed. I, like, I, I just I, I'd like to see it more inclusive library then. Okay, let me put it like that way. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to see a more inclusive library like they do like on the 4. Like if you're going to give us backwards compatibility or something at least cl include it like its own standalone page because we've talked about standalone pages you know. Oh, oh, I agree. On the store? Yeah, no, I wholeheartedly agree that you yes. have that kind of. Alright, here we go. Alright, is it starting for you? Yeah. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Let's see what they, let's see what they got. I'm, I'm not going to lie, that's still a sexy-ass machine. Yeah. Telling you now, I'm buying that cat game. Let's do this. Yeah. Yeah. Godfall and Spider-Man will be my first purchase for it. Captured on a PC emulating the PS5 experience. So they. Alright. Final Fantasy. You all know the Final Fantasy 14. Or. Uh, it has to be a Final Fantasy game. Because they're talking about Shiva. Uh, you must be ahead of me. Our kind do not question orders. It just popped Square Enix? Yeah, mine just now did. Okay. Oh, it looks so good. 
No, there's Shiva. Our foe will not relinquish their mother crystal easily. This will be a bitter fight. You should not be out of door. We have discussed this. Come, Joshua. Your father will be expecting us. I am Joshua's shield. I'm sworn to protect you. What do you mean you refuse? Did you not pledge your sword to our cause? Oh my god, this looks so good. I don't think this is Final Fantasy 14. It was the doll next who drove back. Yeah, then I correct myself and said it's gonna be a Final Fantasy game. Without the blessing of the mother crystal, we cannot defend our realm from the spread of the blood. I think it's 16, just like I said. Oh he's that was a nice little fight. Do they really mean to invade us? Well, if it is, it's on my list. You should pause it and then restart it after like a second or two. Uh, I quit out and as soon as I came back in, it's still at where I had it. Oh, looks like I'm going back to Final Fantasy. Yep, that looks good. Placing. Oh, consoles, thank God, it's going to be exclusive. It, well, on PC also, but yeah. Wow. I would wow. say I'm going back to Eori's unit, but I don't know if that's where it's going to be. Wow, that's pretty huge. That's uh, a selling point for me. No Xbox. Wow. All cinematic and gameplays from PlayStation 5 moving forward. Aight. That's a way to start your show. Final Fantasy 16. Yeah. God of War 2. Come on. Oh, okay. Miles Morales. All right. Here we go. Where are you at? Uh, he's going in the window right now. Or looking in the window. Okay, yeah, we're, we're pretty much synced up then. He's going in now. Subway card. Check. You got the house key? Yeah, I got it. <sighs> Let me quit out. Okay, I'm at a dude in the jacket at steps. Come on. Yep. We're gonna be late. Okay. And here comes Miles. He just closed the door. And now he's oh. he throws a snowball. Dude, I am so filling your suit with snow. Oh, they're already walking. Wearing your suit? Yeah, you know, just in case. It's gonna be fun. This is my favorite part of living in Harlem. Pop up street fair, best food in the city, awesome music. This is high fantasy right here because people are outside talking to each other. Get back into mixing. Mm-hmm. No social distancing. No nope. masks. Nope. What do you think about Rio Morales? You gonna vote for her? 
still hard to think of mom as a politician. She's been a teacher my whole life. Similar skill sets, right? Rallying people, educating them, making sure they don't throw things at each other. Hi, I'm Brian Horton, creative director at Insomniac Games. We're excited to show you this first look at gameplay from Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales. Our story picks up one year after the events of the first game, and we find Miles' new home, Harlem, is in danger. Trouble brews while Miles' mom, Rio Morales, leads an election rally. A war between the devious energy corporation, Roxxon, and the underground. A high-tech criminal army led by the Tinkerer starts to break out. In this gameplay sequence, captured on PlayStation 5 hardware, the underground attacks Roxxon, sending the rally into chaos in a fight that spills onto the Braithwaite Bridge, where the underground tries to steal Roxxon's experimental energy source, New Form. Let's take a look. Let's not shoot each other, all right? Combat looks really good. Yeah, it does. Where is he? Daddy. Get out, baby. <laughs> That's pretty iconic. Yeah.
jeez, dude, that's just a piece. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be just as good as the first one, dude. You already yeah. said it only takes place a one year after. Yeah. You never finished it, did you? No. Oh my god. I know. Dude, with that and Horizon, ugh. You're, you're like me with Horizon. I still have not finished Horizon. If I'm gonna get a PS5 and Horizon 2, I'm gonna have to go back and finish it. I wonder if Beyond Good and Evil 2 will finally be out with a PS5. Yeah, it, I, I mean, it's disappeared, so I'm thinking maybe. That's a good question, Dragadam. Thanks for a uh, Batman Dragadam. game. Oh yeah, this is probably the Warner uh, Brothers. No, Harry Potter. Harry Potter? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, but what? I don't know how I feel about the Harry Potter games. Yeah, but I enjoy them. The wife, I mean, I'm interested to see what this is. Now it is time to add your own story to these hallowed walls and quite possibly shape the future. Interesting. Every corridor, every portrait. Every stone in this castle tells the story of witches and wizards who came before. Here you will meet lifelong friends and grow into your own magical abilities in the classrooms of the world's most talented professors. And while your journey begins at Hogwarts, brewing potions. <laughs> Taming fantastic beasts and mastering spells. There is a larger world beyond these walls. Wow. Filled with dangers you can't yet imagine. An ancient knowledge long gone from this world. That strange and mysterious talent you possess may be the key to unlocking this. Dormant power. Your potential is limitless. But what form will it take? It looks like will reveal a real Harry Potter RPG. I'd be down. I'd be super down. The choices you I wonder if it has co-op or multiplayer. I wonder if it's an MMO. Hogwarts Legacy. Oh, yeah, I'd be down. Yeah, is it an MMO? That's really interesting. Oh, uh, it looks like a single. Because if it's about your story, yeah. I think it might be a single stand single player. More time will tell if there will be co-op. Come on, God of War 2, let's go. Hi, everyone. I'm Dan Kondrak, creative director. Hi, everyone. I'm Dan Kondrak, creative director. Still, like, three seconds. One of our goals as developers yeah. is to bring the game world to life unlike anything you've ever experienced. And the PlayStation 5 is making that happen. Can you turn yours down a little bit? Console, we've been able to significantly enhance yeah. the overall experience. From what you see in How's the world, that? how it feels in your hands, yeah. to what you hear around you. Uh, in Black Ops Cold War, you will be transported to the year 1981, <laughs> in the middle of one of the most dangerous times the world has ever known, the height of the Cold War. The following is a portion of the first campaign mission, where you've been given the name of a high-value target linked to the Iran hostage crisis. But in true Black Ops style, nothing is as it seems. Take a look. Kasim is out of the picture. How long before we get Haraj? The team arrived in Turkey a few hours ago. We should be in position shortly. Airfield's just up ahead. Let's go find this shithead. Priority is to ID a rush. Things go hot. Oh, 
Call of Duty game. Yeah, Call of Duty Cold War, I think. Looks good. Incoming truck, left side. A rush might be in the truck. Or he might not. That was kind of mean. Yeah. I like it, though. Jesus. Right, I think it is. Yep, Cold War. Holiday 2020. We hope you enjoyed that sneak peek at the campaign for Black Ops Cold War. There are many more twists and turns along the way as you begin to unravel the truth, and we can't wait for you to play it soon. In addition to the story campaign, Cold War features the next generation of multiplayer online combat and an all new awesome zombies experience. Today, I have the special honor to announce on behalf of my friends at Treyarch that the PlayStation community doesn't have to wait to play multiplayer. Starting this Friday, PlayStation players will be able to play the multiplayer alpha exclusively on PlayStation 4. And for those of you that are watching at home on your PS4, you can preload the experience starting tomorrow. We can't Three wait days, to see alpha. Friday and through the weekend. Yep. Enjoy the rest of the show. Eh, I'm not into Call of Duties anymore. Looks like a great game. Just... No, nah, I'm not in the series anymore. Let's see what else they give us. Come on now. God of War 2. By the end of it. Maybe Dragon Age 4. Possibly. What is this? Come on, move! Splinter Saw? Chris? What no. the hell? It's Resident Evil Village. Take him away. Resident Evil 8. Yeah. Yep, Capcom. Resident Evil.
and in death we give glory. The bell tolls for us all. They're coming again. <laughs> Jeez, I think the last Resident Evil game I played was like six. Yeah. Quit being so paranoid. And that was just for like a couple of hours. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence. The bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free of Mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine, under branch, and into the forest deep. It's just a local tale. Mama had your earrings, baby. Resident Evil 8. Village. <laughs> If it's just looking, window shop away. Uh, more Godfall. Come on. For Ratchet and Clank, I want to see some more about the Ratchet and Clank. Mm, I don't think they'll do that. Nope. This got postponed, sadly. Oh, this game? Yeah. I think it looks really interesting. I think they're going to talk about how the two one out of a time loop. Yeah, you got to learn how it works. Black Reef is a puzzle, and each visionary is a different piece. Here's Igor. I am a respected scientist. I've done so many loops. I've learned to run circles around him. Was this that one v one thing? Yes. Visionary is throwing his nightly cannibal masquerade. Alexis Dorsey. Everybody shut up! This is my jam. Igor is a big fan, yet somehow he never makes it to the party. Something keeps him home. Cold? You there, buddy? Here's the invite to the party. And here's why Igor blew it off. He made some kind of scientific breakthrough that morning. I did it! I did it! It works! That he makes every morning, unless I get there first. Hmm. No experiment, no breakthrough, no reason for Igor not to drink his disappointment with Alexis. Now I got a shot at killing them both at the same time. In the same loop. Hey, whoa! It's time to hunt King! Hold! I'm talking about you, baby! Come out and play! I really like the style of this game.
Yeah, but what they're kind of not talking about is that you got to kill all eight of them in one loop. Oh, okay. On my list. Every one of them with grand plans for eternal life. To break the loop, I got to break the rules. Clock's ticking. See, and then and this is another time. real player. You keep forgetting, Colt. I'm not like those other idiots. Only got one name on my list. Yours. Hmm. So you got to kill all eight of them and get past her. Yeah, see, so they pushed it back to Q2. Oh, okay. PC and PlayStation exclusive. So look, John, you'll be able to play on PC. Alright, well, it's concrete, so it's not. Oh, it's Devil May Cry? That day, if our positions were switched, would our fates be different? Would I have your life and your mind? Yeah. You would do sure it. is. Oh, just a DMC5 redo. DMC is such a crazy game. Yep. Be nice, it'll be available Just at launch. I also have insight on what the store is going to look like with the XMB, yeah, all that good stuff. Uh, this is an odd word, odd word, odd world, <laughs> yeah. Dude has no arms. Hi, I'm Lauren Lanning, creative director of Oddworld Soulstorm. We're excited to bring you an all new exclusive trailer from the game. Here, our unlikely hero, Abe, finds himself fresh off the back of freeing his people from the nefarious rupture farm. He thinks the journey is over, but soon discovers it has only just begun. The stakes are higher, the threats are larger. The obstacles are more devious, and it's all made possible no. by the power of PlayStation 5. Enjoy. It's an odd game. I'll be right back and grab a snack.
same here. Hey, why the hold up? I could go for a sandwich right well, now. We gotta get out of here. Come on, my let's tummy, get out of here. My tummy's growling. I, I'm Stop. hungry. <laughs> I mean, it's basically next-gen lemmings with a very dark twist. Yeah, I really like the uh, retro aesthetics of Time Loop. I think that's going to be a fun game. Gregory, your friends are worried about you. They're here with me. Please, come out. Creepy. Gregory, I may have lost my temper earlier, but it was just a glitch. It won't happen again. I come back to you? It's been such a difficult day for all of us. Why don't you come out and we can play a game hmm. together? Looks different. Five Nights at Freddy's? It won't happen again. Yeah, I think so. Like a true... It was just a quick Gregory, be still. I think she's found us. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. A real Five Nights at Freddy's horror game. That's not a port, it looks like. It sounded like that. That was unexpected. And it didn't yeah. say it, it didn't say it was uh, exclusive or anything. And it didn't give a right. release date. PlayStation Studios. Dark Souls or Demon Souls? Yeah, yeah probably because you called that last time. They showed it. Yeah, it's definitely Demon Souls. Oh, it looks so good. But you can't wait. Such a good idea to start with her. Oh, it looks so good. <laughs> oh my god, it looks so good. Combat looks a little bit better than what I've seen. Yeah, but it's looks actually, like one hit. It's actually harder than the other ones. Also, there's no HUD. Because it's not showing you the... your stamina and your health and all But that. how do you feel about it if it's actually like that one hit? One hit kill. Well, that's probably just because he's got an upgraded weapon. This guy won't be a one hit kill. Oh, well, except he countered him. I believe counters are always one hit kills on the on this one. <laughs> Well, you took that dude out. Yeah, that's not normal. Oh my god, this you looks think so good. They're just showing it just for Yeah, they're just showing play, though? They're showing it just to show the differences between the original one and this. This looks so good. I'm serious. This looks like So this um, is supposed to be a remake off the original or is this a an original? No, this is the this is the remake of the original. The one I've seen you play, Demon Souls or Dark Souls? Yeah. No, th no, this is um, Demon Souls. This was the very first one. This is the one that I was like, oh, okay. I wonder if there's I don't a... think I've seen you play that. No, 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 because it's not been out since PlayStation Three.
Oh, hell yes. You better be rolling there, buddy. Dude, you can actually see the damage he's doing to the boss. Yep. Roll! Oh, jeez. Yeah, you died. <laughs> I was like, there's no way. He should have been rolling around him, attacking from the back. Oh my god, this looks... Oh my god, it looks so good! My god, it looks so good. Oh, there's one for you. No doubt. Jeez. No diggity. <sighs> Come on, guys. Still no Don't date. Don't let me down. Still no date. Still no horizon, either. Yeah, that, that's that's exactly what I was saying. That won't be a one-hit kill. That's what Dragon Hand's saying. That won't be a one-hit kill. Yeah, it won't be a one-hit kill for most <laughs> of those things until you get sufficiently high level. Yeah. Fortnite? Uh, this, this is Fortnite. Uh, yeah. I knew by the, the sound of the bus driving by. Yeah, it's a given that certain games are going to be on PlayStation 5. Just like I know Grand Theft Auto 5 is going to be on there. Yeah. Online. Don't know about Warframe. Oh, I'm sure it will. PlayStation Plus Collection? What is this? I'm interested. So maybe something to do with backwards? Or... Ooh. A new plus benefit for PlayStation 5. Can you kill something that big? Oh, wait a minute. Are you telling me we're going to have a constant library of games to play? Anything that gets included in the PlayStation Plus? Uh, oh, ho, ho, ho. yeah, that looks good so far. They show God of War. Yeah, it looks like this lot. is stuff that's been on PlayStation Plus. Yeah, this is going to be stuff that's been on Plus. My name is Connor. Not just plus, that's going to be greatest hits also. Yeah, that's what I was saying, greatest hits. That's what I was trying to articulate. Holy crap. Wow. At launch. Wow. For free? Yeah, uh, as, long, as yeah. long as you have plus. That's crazy good. <laughs> there's a... Wow. There's a... There's a system There's a seller. select Microsoft. Yikes. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy good. Yeah, so instead of paying 20 bucks, you basically get the entire PlayStation Greatest Hits collection. Yep. That's... Baller. That is a good sell point. Don't end yet. Still got Godfall. Horizon Zero Dawn. No, I don't expect it to go longer than an hour. I mean, it might, but I'd be surprised, to be honest. Don't 
don't say the price when you see it because, and the release date because you'll get it three seconds before me. What are we looking for, babe? Anything? Top of the fridge. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Three ninety nine, four ninety nine. Exactly what I said. Oh. Ah. November twelfth. November twelfth. That's. Less than two months away. Holy crap. All right, then. Did you see the price? Yeah. Was it digital? So now you know. Three ninety nine. Three ninety nine. That's what I said. And have been part of this amazing journey. And the disc was four ninety nine. Right. That's exactly what I said. A truly new generation of experiences on PS5. From everyone at PlayStation, we appreciate your continued support. Ah, um, I might have to go on it. You guys are going to talk about pre-orders. I might have to go pre-order it. To close, let me leave you with one more quick look. Oh, oh, one more thing. <sighs> what it is. I see snow. The time draws near. Ah! There you go. There you go. Just what you wanted. You must prepare yourself. Oh. He's gonna go to the Norse gods and kill them? Yeah. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Yes! Yep. Well. Dude, I didn't get that email. I wonder if I could find a pre-order link. Or just go to PlayStation.com and order one. I mean, I think you can search and find it. Uh, I'm going to mute this so I don't get penalty striked. No, I probably will already, but it's all right. Um... So yeah, this is this has been an interesting. We got a little bit of new. We got a little more in depth than stuff that they've already, uh, you know, established in the last one. And uh, mm -hmm. three ninety nine for the digital, which is Genshin exactly... Impact. Ooh, yeah. they just showed Genshin Impact on PS five. Yeah, that's an interesting point to me. So I'm actually picking that up in a couple of weeks. I'm thinking about trying to get on to the Chinese beta. Um, it's only on PC, but there's ways that people have been doing it, so I'm gonna try it. Yeah, I'm. I'm. Uh, 3.99 for the discless is about what I expected it to be, and 4.99 for the disc-based version. Um, the only reason I might consider the disc, well, I'm gonna get the disc-based version. That's fine because I want to be able to play HD Blu-rays because um, I don't have an HD Blu-ray player today. So that's a logical upgrade. Oh, for movies? Yeah, for movies and stuff. So that's a lot. Look at here, Grandpa. Who uses Blu-rays anymore? Yeah, <laughs> I know, but you know, I guess I could always put it on disc. But we'll see. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, yeah. But November twelfth. That's the surprising thing to me. That and means then it, November nineteenth for the rest of the world. Yeah, but that also means that it's it. a week yeah. earlier than Xbox, if I remember correctly. Um, yeah. Yeah, no idea how to get them still, or pre-orders because that's two weeks, two months away. Well, I just, I, I just seen something. Let's see if I can. Oh, all right. Unless it resets, you may be able to pre-order PlayStation Five later today, according to a French retailer, and it's from Games Radar. Well, yeah. In-store marketing says the console is available to pre-order. PS5 pre-orders could open as early as this evening if a French retailer's in-store marketing is to be believed. F, uh, FNAC, an electronic store operating across Europe and North okay. Africa, has Ken, deployed advertising. Can just yeah. just search for PlayStation 5 pre-orders 
and there's a link for PlayStation okay. called Direct Pre-orders, and that's where you can put your info in to pre-order. PlayStation Five pre-order. It won't be the. It's called. It, it'll be PlayStation.com slash enus slash campaigns ps5 direct it's called playstation 5 direct pre-orders so when you go to that that's where you put your email in and uh yeah i see what you're saying uh, so it's just signing up i mean it's not letting me like correct. drop the money on it for correct pre it's signing up to be eligible to get a pre-order Yeah, so that was a, a very interesting uh, live announcement. Um, I think we'll be uh, checking out uh, pre-orders really quickly since they have less than two months. I can't believe that. That's crazy. Uh, but yeah, um, thanks for watching. What did you think about the uh, the PlayStation 5 uh, conference that they just did? Uh, are you happy with the price? Will you be picking one up? Let us know in the comments below. Uh, for Ken and for myself, thanks for watching, and until next time, game on. Yep, have fun.